Did you know that the Earth has a pulse? A geological pulse, that is. Most major geological events in Earth's recent history have clustered in 27.5 million year intervals, a pattern that scientists are now calling the pulse of the Earth. Over the past 260 million years, dozens of major geological events, from sea level changes to volcanic eruptions, seem to follow this rhythmic pattern. The authors say that geologists have wondered for a really long time whether there's a certain cycle of around 30 million years in the geological record, but until recently, poor dating of such events made the phenomenon really difficult to study quantitatively. In a new study, the researchers conducted a quantitative analysis to see if these events were random or if there was an underlying pattern to them. To do this, they first searched the literature and found 89 major geological events that occurred in the past 260 million years. These included extinctions, ocean anoxic events, or times when the oceans were toxic due to oxygen depletion, sea level fluctuations, major volcanic activity called flood basalt eruptions, and changes in the organization of Earth's tectonic plates. Then, the researchers put the events in chronological order and used a mathematical tool known as Fourier analysis to pick up spikes in the frequency of events. They discovered that most of these events clustered into 10 separate times that were, on average, 27.5 million years apart. Though that number may not be exact, it's probably a pretty good estimate, the researchers say. However, they only looked at the past 260 million years when the dating of such events is most accurate. Still, they think the results likely extend further back in our planet's history. It's not clear what's causing such a pulse in geological activity, but the researchers have several hypotheses. It could be internally driven by plate tectonics and movement inside the mantle, or it could have something to do with the movement of Earth in the solar system and the galaxy. The researchers hope to get even better data on the dating of certain geological events and plan to analyze a longer time period to see if the pulse extends further back in time. They also hope that if one day they can get better numbers on the astronomical movements of Earth through the solar system and the Milky Way, they can see if there's any correlation in the astronomical and geological cycles. In any case, if such a pattern exists, the last cluster was about 7 million to 10 million years ago, so the next one would likely come in 10 million to 15 million years.